Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing my first diamond painting from victoriasmoon.co.uk. A few weeks ago I received an email from victoriasmoon.co.uk and they said they had seen the unboxing videos that I had done on YouTube and asked if I, I would be interested in unboxing one of theirs and doing a review. So <clears throat> I had never heard of Victoria's Moon before and they said that they would pay for the diamond painting and they would pay for shipping so there would be no cost to me. Uh, so of course I said yes, I would be interested. Um, I'm always interested in trying out new companies especially. So they said just have a look at the website and choose a diamond painting and we'll send it out to you. So I went to the website, had a look. They have a lot of images, uh, and I mean a lot. So I had a, a browse through, uh, took me a bit of time to decide uh, what to get. I like brightly colored diamond paintings. So I went on looking for something with bright colors and I found something that's a bit different from uh, the things that I've done so far. So I emailed them back and said, okay, I've uh, picked one and I uh, told them which one it was. So they said, that's fine. We'll let you know when it's been shipped. So on the 24th of January, they sent me an email and they said, just to let you know, your diamond painting has been shipped and we have added in a special pen. So I have no idea what the special pen is, so I'm curious about that. But well, that was the 24th of January. The package arrived at the door this morning at 8 o'clock and this is the 28th of January. So four days but technically probably three um, since they told me it was shipped to arrival. So that is the fastest I have ever had a diamond painting. So anyway this is what arrived. Um, pretty standard wrapped in black plastic, a box, and it feels pretty solid. Um, it's definitely stronger than some of the boxes that I've received. And as you can see, it isn't bashed. There's no damage on it. So we'll get straight into it. And trust the old scissors. The blunt scissors, I think. Yeah, I think I need to get a new pair. Okay, so we're we getting there. So we'll get this black packaging off, see what we've got. As I said, this is a company that I had never heard of, so it's all new to me. <coughs> so we have reasonably sturdy uh, cardboard box, best wishes for you, DIY 5D diamond painting. Little diagrams, basic explanation of how it works. And I can see, I think anyway, this, no. It looks like the box opens in the middle, but I don't think so. I think it's just a crease. So I'll go for one end. See if the scissors are any better this time. So, see what we've got. No, okay. Okay, so this is the special pen. Um, I don't actually have one of these and I think I will do a review of this in a separate video. So I'll put that to the side. It's going to be quite interesting. I've never used one like this before. So I'll put that to the side. Clean up the little bits of cupboard. Get it nice and clean. And we'll see what's in the box. Just 
checking there's nothing else looks like that's it <coughs> so uh, double sided glue it's not poured glue I can tell that um, because of this cover it actually says hold it up twin adhesive so uh, double sided glue not poured glue and we'll see how that turns out but I can feel the drills are inside, feel the weight of them. So we'll have a look at them first. Put the diamond painting up here, hope it doesn't roll down. So get straight into the bag. The noisy part, especially when I can't find where it seals. Okay, got it. Everything is sticking on the glue. So as I said, uh, I like colourful diamond paintings. So a few colours in this one. And the first thing I think we'll look at is the goodie bag. And then we'll start with that. So we'll see what we get with this one. there's actually a little tab to pull uh, I didn't notice that, I've never seen that before so there's a little tab uh, to pull when you're opening this makes it a little bit easier so this is what we've got we have a diamond painting pen and a 10 place uh, multi-placer and a squidgy already on the pen and for anybody who's totally new uh, to diamond painting Normally you get a pen that has the tip where you place one drill at a time. Sometimes you get them with these things that they call multi-placers. And what you do is you fill this line with wax and you can pick up with this one 10 drills in a row. Which makes it convenient if you have large areas of the same colour you can line up 10 drills and place them at a time instead of doing one. The squidgy, uh, sometimes you get these and sometimes you don't. This is a piece of foam that just slides onto the pen and the idea behind that is it makes it a bit more comfortable to hold for a long period of time, it makes the pen a little bit thicker and it's spongy. So a little bit more comfortable than just the basic uh, plastic straw, as I call it. And the reason I call it that is because it basically it is. So sometimes with kits you'll get two or three different sizes of multi-placers. Sometimes you get none. So this one, you get a 10 placer and I'll just put it back in the pen so I don't lose it. Then we get a pair of tweezers. Now, these tweezers are very good. They are very, very sharp, but they are solid. Um, a lot of kits, you'll get twe uh, tweezers that are made of basically tin. They are very soft. They bend too easily. When you try to pick up drills, um, you can struggle. A lot of times you've actually got to try and bend them. Man I mean, you can bend them really easily, but you bend the tips towards each other a bit because if you don't, when you try and pick up a drill, you can't really grip it. These ones are the best type um, that I've used anyway. And it's a pair like this that I use all the time. They are very, very sharp. So uh, definitely keep them away from the kids. Uh, you could do some serious damage with them. But because it's such a fine tip and they're so strong, it's actually uh, easy to pick up the drills a lot easier than it is with the what I would call cheap ones so definite plus really nice tweezers and what is this okay I'm stumped I don't know what this is for I'm not going to peel it off um, 
no idea. I'll email them or somebody could put in comments and tell me what this is because I have never seen this before unless it's a sticker or something. Of course my nails aren't long enough. Okay, it's an adhesive strip. Uh, this is very sticky. No idea. No idea. So if anybody knows what this is, please uh, put it in the comments. If nobody can tell me, I'll contact the company and ask them. So that's something new. Then we have the pink wax, pretty much standard rectangle pink wax. Again, if you're new, this is what you use to uh, pick up the drills. What you do is you peel back. There's actually a clear layer. Um, it's not really that obvious. And then what you do is you get your pen. Flip this back over a bit. You get your pen and if you just put your finger behind this and then press it in, give it a bit of a twist, pull it out, you can see it's punched a hole and the wax is now in the pen. And it's this wax that picks up the drills. So that's what this is for. But it's just that I have seen quite a few people commenting saying that they've got the first diamond painting and they can't pick up the drills. And a few times it's been because they haven't realised, it's not that obvious, um, they haven't realised that there's a, a plastic sheet on here. So if you try and poke into it, nothing happens. So that's uh, pretty much standard, just rectangle pink wax, but you do need it. Then we have a tray, uh, which is what you pour your drills into. Give it a little bit of a shake. They sit along these lines and then you use your pen to pick them up. This one has a funnel which I like because it fits inside tic tac boxes which I use for storage. Um, so all in all, pretty good. Um, still trying to decide what this is for. I've no idea. Honesty is the best policy. So that is the goodie bag. Really, really nice tweezers. Um, as I said, they're the best ones that I've tried personally. Um, then we move on to the drills. So there's definitely a plus here already and I haven't even looked at them. These drills have come in individual bags which I really like. It means that if this is your first diamond painting you don't need to have any kind of storage to keep the drills. You can work from the bags, which is ideal. So we have uh, the bags are all numbered. So this is bag number four. This is bag number 12. And this is the DMC code 720. So if you see the DMC code 720 in any diamond painting, it'll be this color. And the, the sort of fail safe is 310. Everybody loves 310, which is black. Um, virtually all diamond paintings have got black in them. So you can see 310 is black. So you know it is DMC uh, numbers. So they are bagged in different sizes of bags depending on how many drills there are, which again I really like. Um, you can see there's quite a lot of 310 in this one. So instead of giving you, I don't know, 10 or 20 bags this size, they give you one big bag like this. So all your 310s in one bag. Excellent. So again, you can see they're all numbered, they're all labelled. So it's very easy to get started and I really like that. Um, the other thing is to actually check the drills, so I asked for uh, square drills, so you can see that these are little squares, very shiny as you can see. Um, just having a look, uh, they are very clean and they don't have a little dimple on the bottom, they are flat, which means uh, there's, there's more surface to stick to the glue, which is really good. 
they are also nice and loose no signs of any oil in them no clumping together uh, trying to see if there's any buds on them but can't really see anything they look really good just pick another one you can see they are they're very shiny so that's nice randomly picking them up and checking but yeah yeah nice nice drills definitely so that's a definite plus um, if you are starting out diamond painting especially and you have no storage um, because the other way you can get them is in sealed bags that you cut open with scissors and then you've got a problem because you don't have anywhere to keep them and you can try to keep them in the bag and sell tape over but it is really awkward eventually the bags tend to rip and uh, you have to find something to keep all these loose drills in so sealed bags perfect so yeah everything is good so far now we get to the canvas and I'm just going to check, oh, it's okay, I was going to check the box to see if I'd forgotten the key. Uh, there is a key, which is very basic, I have to say. Um, normally, you would have a thumbnail picture and uh, a sort of chart on here, but to be honest, you don't need any of that. Um, because you have it on your drawing, if you can't remember what picture it is. I'll find it. Of course we'll do it upside down. Okay. So there will be a thumbnail, I think. Maybe not. Oh, it's at the bottom, not at the top. So this is the thumbnail. You can see. Just gives you a, a rough impression of what the picture is. And you have your key. So these tie in with the bags. Um, I'll show that once I take the cover off, just that they do match. In fact, I'm just going to move the, the drills because they're getting in my way. And because of the bags, I'll be careful, but I just put them on the floor. I don't want any of them, especially that big bag of D10s. I don't want any of them uh, popping open when I drop them. So I'm just carefully putting them down. And we'll go back to the key. Um, so you can see number one is an H, two, three, four, five. So you have all the numbers. So this one has 35 different colors, 35 different symbols, and 35 different DMC numbers. So I'll put that out of the way, and we'll have a look at the canvas. Um, you can see at the top here, it gives you the dimensions. So this one is 50 by 70, so that's 50 centimeters high. Uh, normally, they are uh, marked, this would be marked as 70 by 50 because it is actually 70 across and 50 down. But there are uh, some other companies that do it this way as well. I don't know why it isn't standard. But it's 70 centimetres across and 50 centimetres down, this one. So we'll uh, have a look at the actual canvas. And I'll show you how... I straighten them or flatten them. Um, I often see people asking how do you flatten a canvas because they tend to want to do what this is doing. They want to roll up, they want to go back into the shape they were in the box and uh, people wonder how do you flatten them. Some people put them under their mattress, some people put heavy books and things and they leave them for a few days or a week or whatever. Um, I don't do that with this uh, sort of canvas. 
when it has the double sided tape what I do is peel off the cover down just past halfway so what I do is um, you can see the cover there now what I'm doing is I'm checking to make sure I'm not picking up the glue because the glue that is on the canvas is basically very thin and very sticky double sided tape really just a massive sheet of it so sometimes when you try to pick up at the corner you can accidentally pick up that tape and the way to check it is just when you turn it over touch the back of the paper to see if it's sticky if it is just gently put it back down and press it back down and try again if it does it again try pressing it back down and rub your fingernail just friction over the corner and what that does is it warms up the glue and softens it and if you try again if you find you're still having problems with it just leave that corner and go and try a different one so this one is covered in two strips as a join here sometimes it's one big sheet sometimes it could be four or five thin strips so just depending how it is um, this one for example is looks like it's overlapping slightly here overlapping this side so I would start here so what I'll do is I'll get the corner just very gently lift it up now it's definitely worth taking your time with this part because if you pull that glue over and it folds back and sticks to itself you're in big trouble so just a, a few seconds just to make sure that you've got that right so not sticky and you can actually see the glue the shine so the glue is where it should be on the canvas then because this one is overlapping this one I'll go for this corner and peel it back and then just work my way along the top sometimes it will tear doesn't really matter too much but it's better if it doesn't it just makes it a bit easier for you so try and work it even along and that's it so I'm all the way across and then I just hold this and start to peel it back try and keep your finger quite close to the top because the glue uh, overlaps the picture it goes out past the picture that's just to make sure that your drills around the edges uh, have something to stick on and because I'm right handed I find it easier to do it this way so I just peel it back and go back um, just over halfway roughly it's not an exact science but roughly halfway and then drop it and then we'll go for this side we'll leave that up a bit because like I said this is overlapping um, again just get in the corner lifting it up checking no glue so we're fine go to the opposite side just pick it up check again no glue and work on the top and once we get a decent amount just peel it back this one's a bit awkward because it's overlapping but same idea, just peel it back once you get it in line. So you can see the glue is very sticky, so we're not going to have a problem with the drill sticking to this. And I'm checking the canvas as well because sometimes when you have this double sided tape, um, it can uh, have air bubbles in it, which are just uh, something that can happen in the manufacture because they're putting a very thin sheet of glue 
on top of a canvas and just sometimes air can get trapped. Um, I was just checking it there against the light, uh, no air bubbles at all, uh, which is really good. So I've done one side and you can see I'm not touching it and it's lying flat on the table. If I rotate it and we look at the side that hasn't been done, I think you can see the difference. So all we have to do is unroll this. And then now the overlap is going this way. So this, this sheet is over this one. So I'll go with this one first. Find the join. I'm wrong. It's going the other way. So find the join and go this way. Again, just check that paper not sticky. I can't emphasize how important it is that you check that because if you pull this back you're going to pull all the glue off your canvas and you can't just put it back. So the idea is you do a very small bit and if you feel that it's sticking like I think this one might be Yeah, I did it a bit, you can maybe there, see that a little bit, but it's off of the canvas, so I can just push it back, and it's absolutely fine. If I had uh, kept pulling that and pulled it off the canvas, the bigger it is, the more chance something's going to go wrong, and it's going to fall back in itself. If it does that, it's ruined, the, the glue, you, you can't unstick it from itself which gives you a headache before you even start. You can get products that you can use to glue the bit that isn't sticky, but it's also going to cause a lump. So you'll have to cut the lump off and it's just a lot of hassle. So for the sake of a few seconds, uh, it's definitely worth taking your time. So again, just peel back nice and smooth. And you can see there's tension on this, but when I get past the middle of where I released it from the other side, it goes slack. So that's when you know that you've gone far enough. And just put it down and then do the same, same again. You get a lot of practice uh, doing this if you get the double sided tape ones. The other ones that you can get are poured glue, which is actually poured onto the canvas and um, it doesn't create bubbles. That's the advantage of the poured glue. But I find that the tape is stickier than the poured glue. Uh, it's just my personal opinion. But either work, um, even if you do get air bubbles, you can get around it and fix it. Which I have spoke about in another video. So again, just trying to get it sort of even. Just a little bit. Peel it back. This is strong glue. And that's me even past where I peeled from the other side. Just drop it back. And then you can see it's lying flat. So that's it. No waiting days, putting it under your bed, putting books on it, putting weights on it. It's flat. It's ready to work now. So uh, that's good because then uh, you can get straight into your diamond painting. The bags are already labelled and numbered. So it's just a matter of deciding where you're going to start. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off completely. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I'm only doing this to let people see the picture. Um, it's better to keep as much of the glue covered as possible so that it doesn't get covered in dog hairs, cat hairs, human hairs, eyelashes, um, fluff, dust, crumbs. All of the above will stick to this and they stick really bad. So it's not a good idea to do this but like I said I just want to let you see the print and uh, we can check the glue 
to see how good it is as far as air bubbles are concerned so it come the cover comes off a lot easier the second time it's that, just that initial time uh, that you could have a problem the other thing is don't let the canvas fold on itself don't like I've got this hanging off the table in front of me don't stand forward and stick to it it is very sticky so you do not want to drop it this is like the worst time possible that you could drop this because it's basically just a massive sheet of glue and guaranteed if I drop it it's going to land face down okay so that is it the other thing about uh, pictures especially ones like this is when you see the canvas it's very hard to imagine what the picture is really going to look like it isn't until you get the drills on it that it starts to come to life so don't be worried if you get something like this and think it doesn't look like anything um, the closer you get the worse the effect is but it's just how it is I mean if, if I showed somebody this uh, I don't think they would be able to guess what it was but you can see even if I do it on the table though move that light it's getting a bit annoying um, from a distance you get an idea of what it is it's, it's trees in a forest but if I hold it up closer it doesn't look like anything but you can see the symbols are very clear and that's what I wanted to show how good or bad the print was as I said I've never had uh, a diamond painting from this company so I was really curious to see how good or bad it looked and that print is perfect I can't see any problems there's no double print no blurring very clean the glue I cannot see one single bubble uh, which is really nice so definitely 10 out of 10 for the glue no bubbles at all I'm just checking the bottom um, no I can't see anything there is a you can maybe see there is a line down the center but that is because they've actually used two sheets of glue so there's one on either side and there's a tiny tiny little gap that won't affect anything when the drills go on they will stick it's just I don't know, a millimeter maybe if that going down the middle and it's just the way it's been made um, it's actually better if there is a tiny gap than a tiny overlap because if they overlap the drill won't sit flat so nothing to worry about at all and if I turn it the way it should be I don't know if we'll get it all in again I'm being really careful it doesn't touch anything because it's so sticky with that light again now, now you can see what it is so we have a tree in the foreground forest in the background lots of colour lots of reds blue and a lot of black so that's why I had that big bag of V10 but um, this is different from anything I've done before I think it's going to look really nice I will be doing updates on it uh, I will be doing some YouTube lives doing whips as they call them work in progress and uh, people can join in and have a chat and I can talk about the drills and how things are going and people can see the progress of the picture when I've finished it I will frame it and you will see it occasionally in the background uh, of the YouTube videos but um, first time as I said that I've used this company I don't have anything to complain about um, I'm just really you now I have to be careful because I don't want to drop this in the glue but I am curious to what this is for so hopefully somebody will tell me if not I'll contact victoriasmoon.co.uk and they can tell me so uh, my first look at victoriasmoon.co.uk um, overall 
very impressed uh, for various reasons. Initially, uh, when I opened the bag and I found these tweezers, uh, I liked that. They, as I said, are the ones that I use. Um, they are a lot stronger than the, the, the cheaper tin ones that you get. And I find because of that and the fact they're very sharp, uh, they are really good for picking up square drills. Uh, the other thing was the bags, numbered, labelled, resealable, means you can work straight away uh, without having to buy containers to put your drills in. So if you are totally new to diamond painting, um, this is a big advantage. Pretty sure once you do one, uh, you will end up doing more, and over time you will start to build up various accessories. But when you first start, um, you don't want drills spilling all over the place. You want somewhere to keep them, and they supply the bags, and they're resealable. So, big plus. Um, the canvas, um, I found out when I was putting the cover back on, it is extremely sticky. Uh, I had to retry a few times to get the thing lined up. But um, I don't think there's going to be any problems uh, with drills not sticking to that. But as I said, be careful um, if you do get a diamond painting from any company that has the double-sided glue. Be very careful when you pick the cover up from the corner and just make that little check to make sure that you're only picking up the cover and not the glue. Um, the picture... I think it is going to look really nice. Um, something a bit different. As I said, I like colourful diamond paintings and uh, that one is just a bit different and it will be going up here uh, at some point when it's finished. If you want to see the progress of it, you can follow me on Instagram, Diamond Painting Gym. I will do weekly pictures of the progress so you can see the picture build up. When it is finished, it will be getting framed, and as I said, it will go up on the wall. Um, I rotate these diamond paintings just to let people see things that I've done, give them a little bit of uh, a change of scenery. So it will go up here when it's completed. How long that'll take, I'm not sure. I will be starting it tomorrow. So that's pretty much it. Again, I would just like to thank um, I forgot the name of the company. <laughs> no, I haven't. I remembered it now. Uh, Victoriasmoon.co.uk. You can tell that I don't edit these things. Uh, I like to keep it as real as possible. Uh, so, Victoriasmoon.co.uk, uh, if you are interested, they have a lot of different uh, styles and designs. Um, I'm pretty sure you will find something that you like. Um, the other thing is they have very kindly given me a discount code which I will put up in the description which will give you a 10% dis discount off of your purchase. So that was very nice of them. Um, as I said, this was just a, they just sent an email when they said, we've seen your videos, would you be interested in doing a review of one of ours? Uh, and that was it. Um, it, it could have been a bad review could have been a good review. Fortunately, it was a good review. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The pen, I want to do uh, just one video about this because I have never, I know, some people will know, I do have a lot of diamond painting pens, um, but I don't have one of these, and this is a bit different from what I use. So, I will be doing this in a separate video if anybody is interested and seeing it. So if you are interested in seeing it or other unbagging, unboxing, uh, anything to do with diamond painting, please subscribe and uh, hit that notification button. And as I said, I will be doing the occasional whip work in progress live so you can drop in and actually have a chat with me while I'm doing this stuff. If you've maybe got any questions or if you just want to pass the time, that's, that's great. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. In the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.